Canadian politics took a strange turn today when something very unexpected happened. Today, I notified the Prime Minister that I've ripped up the supply and confidence agreement. NDP broke its coalition with the Liberal government and this is something which nobody saw coming, at least in this year. So Jagmeet Singh, who's the leader of New Democratic Party, announced this, that they're breaking the governance agreement with Trudeau's Liberal Party. And as soon as this news broke out, Canadian politics got a lot more heated. So Liberals, who were supported by the NDP, don't have the majority in Parliament anymore. So what will happen with them? What about NDP? Because Jagmeet Singh is eyeing the Prime Minister's position now. And what is the Conservative Party saying about it? Pierre Poliev actually came out in public and talked about it. So we will talk about all these points, but also the most important question. Can you expect an early election in Canada, maybe later this year or early next year? We will try to analyze all these questions in this video. Okay, so just for starters, Canada mainly has four political parties, the Liberals, the Conservatives, Bloc Québécois, and NDP. There are a couple of others like Green Party, uh, People's Party, but they have very negligible presence. So the last federal elections were held in 2021 when the Liberal Party, which is led by Justin Trudeau, got 160 seats, but yet they were 10 seats away from the majority of 170. There comes NDP or New Democratic Party led by Jagmeet Singh because they had an agreement with the Liberal Party and in a way they supported the Liberal Party to make a majority government. Basically, they helped the Liberal Party cross that magical number of 170. So you can say that Jagmeet Singh actually played a role of a kingmaker in the last elections. But today, in a shocking announcement, he said that he is now breaking that coalition. They call it the Supply and Confidence Agreement, which was actually supposed to continue until June of 2025, but now they've decided to end it right away. So first of all, why this happened? The NDP actually saw the mood of Canadian population. They saw that they are very agitated and very upset with the Liberal government, with their performance so far in the last 3-4 years, and hence they decided that they don't want to relate themselves with the Liberal government and face the backlash and anger of Canadian voters. So now suddenly we have three parties, the Liberals led by Justin Trudeau, the NDP led by Jagmeet Singh and the Conservatives this time led by Pierre Poliev. There's also Bloc Québécois but its presence is mainly in the province of Quebec. Okay, so now when you hopefully understand the current situation, let's talk about the big question right away. Can you expect federal elections to be held in next few months because Liberals don't have the majority government anymore? Unfortunately, the answer is not black and white. As per the normal schedule, we would expect the elections to be in the fall of 2025, which means somewhere around October of next year, which is just an year from now. But then each of these parties would want a different time for these elections. Allow me to explain it. Today, Justin Trudeau was asked the same question and he said that hopefully the elections would be in the fall of 2025. There is opportunity in Canada that we cannot let slide. That's what we're focused on. An election will come uh, in the coming year, hopefully not till next fall. Which means that the Liberal Party and Justin Trudeau hope that they have got one full year until they can make some more announcements to please the Canadian voters and try to do something to pacify their anger to get more votes. But if the elections happen, let's say later this year or earlier next year, they know for sure that they would be the losing end because many polls show that the popularity of Liberal Party is at its lowest ever. So obviously, Justin Trudeau and the Liberal Party would want as much time as possible so that they can make some more announcements to please the Canadian voters. Then comes the Conservatives. They want the elections as soon as possible because now they know that the popularity of Liberal Party is at all time low, which means that this election could be an easy win 
for the conservatives. So Pierre Polyev now wants to bring a no-confidence motion in the parliament to topple the liberal government. So my message to sell out saying is this. If you're serious about ending your costly carbon tax coalition with Trudeau, then commit today to voting for a carbon tax election at the earliest confidence vote in the House of Commons. But here's the catch. They're also away from majority. So if they bring in the no confidence motion, the votes of the Conservative Party alone would not be able to topple the government if the NDP also votes against the current government. Now you can say that NDP has just announced the breakup of the coalition with the Liberal government so they would obviously vote against them. Here is when it gets tricky because until today the NDP and Liberal had this coalition and the Canadian voters are blaming the duo of Justin Trudeau and Jagmeet Singh for all this chaos. So NDP also wants to buy more time to change this perspective that they are also responsible for this chaos. They've already started talking against the Liberal government and blaming their policies for the situation. Justin Trudeau has proven again and again he will always cave to corporate greed. The Liberals have let people down. They don't deserve another chance. There is an even bigger battle ahead. The threat of Pierre Polyev and Conservative cuts. So it is highly unlikely that despite breaking up this coalition, they would still vote against the Liberals. But in Canadian Parliament, how it works, when the budget of 2025 would be tabled in the Parliament next year, that could also be counted as a no-confidence motion. So that could give NDP good six to eight months to distance themselves from the Liberal policies, blame everything on Justin Trudeau and the Liberal Party and their policies, and try to put their agenda forward because at least until now, they have been strongly criticizing and have been against the conservatives as well. So things can change anytime, but experts say that it is unlikely that Canada would have elections this year, but there's a high chance that it could be done after the budget of 2025 is tabled in the parliament. And that would still be few months before the scheduled elections, which is fall of 2025. So long story short, anything can happen, but still there are high chances that Canada would have another federal elections in summers of 2025. And this election is going to be very interesting. But how it matters to you? Of course, immigration is a burning topic these days. It affects a big number of people living in Canada, people like you and me who are recent immigrants. So we would all want to know what do these parties and the party leaders have to say on immigration? What is their viewpoint on immigration? Almost all of them have been contradicting themselves. Sometimes they say that they are in favor of immigration, but they bring in policies or make some announcements which seem that they are against immigration or want to reduce immigration at least. So it would be very interesting to see how it goes. If you want me to make detailed videos on their policies, on what Justin Trudeau has to say, what Pierre Polyev has to say, what Jagmeet Singh has to say, please let me know in the comment section. I'll try to make a detailed video on it. This is a different type of video from what I usually make. Please let me know in the comments if you would want to watch those videos in the coming days. Though if you like this video, please click the thumbs up button. If you have any comments, any feedback or any question, please let me know in the comment section. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please click the subscribe button before moving on to the next video. Thanks again.